This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Monday, December 13th, 2021. Let's talk about the news. From NPR News, over 80 killed in tornadoes in central U.S., More than 80 people have been confirmed killed so far by a wave of weather systems that dropped multiple powerful tornadoes across a stretch of the United States, including parts of Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Officials have said these death counts will likely rise, perhaps to more than 100 people, Kentucky is being called ground zero of the devastation, and President Biden has approved federal state of emergency funds to help with relief efforts. From the Associated Press, the Internet's on fire as techs race to fix software flaw. Within 12 hours of a critical vulnerability in a widely used software tool called Log4j being made public, Hackers had already weaponized it, using it in the popular video game Minecraft, but it poses an even larger threat to the millions of servers that also use this tool for a variety of purposes across a slew of industries. The CEO of a cybersecurity firm called this bug, quote, the single biggest, most critical vulnerability of the last decade, end quote possibly the biggest in the history of modern computing, and the Apache Software Foundation has ranked the vulnerability a 10 out of 10 in terms of how potentially damaging it could turn out to be. This exploit basically allows hackers to get full access to a computer using this software without requiring a password, and servers, which host everything from websites to apps to super private information, are just specialized computers. Hence the concern that this vulnerability could lead to a lot of chaos and theft and abuse before all the instances of this software are patched to eliminate the bug. And patching this bug away is priority one for many afflicted companies right now, but it will be several weeks before we know the extent of the damage being caused right now, pre-patch. And from ZDNet, Brazilian Ministry of Health suffers cyber attack and COVID vaccination data vanishes. The Brazilian Ministry of Health's websites are down in the wake of a significant ransomware attack, knocking out and potentially deleting, among other things, the country's COVID-19 vaccination data. This is just one of many ongoing ransomware attacks against similar targets, and personal and health data from this same ministry was leaked in November 2020. But it's especially interesting right now because it suggests relying on such data to determine who should be allowed to attend public events or go inside certain types of businesses might be a tricky proposition because of how potentially vulnerable such data can be and how wobbly such mandated measures might become as a consequence. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.